Hi friends, what's up? This is our K Phone 360 Leader. It's time to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix Ask to Buy not working on iPhone, iPad, and Mac. With Ask to Buy, you can keep an eye on the purchases of your child and also prevent them from buying things you don't appreciate. As a parent, this is exactly what you need to safeguard your kid from installing shady apps or playing dubious games. Unfortunately, Ask to buy is not working for some users if the issue is also not allowing you to use this parental control feature you have arrived at the right spot to fix it that said let's jump right in before getting started make sure you have subscribed our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 reader first off i would like to tell you that ask to buy does not support content afford by educational institutions. It's worth pointing out that if you have created your child's account using Apple ID for students, your child will be able to use Ask to Buy for personal purchases outside of school. However, note that it won't apply to any apps or other content provided by the educational institution. Then, I would like to tell you that a child may need to verify their age in some countries. Another important thing that you should know is that age varies by country or region. For example, in South Korea, a child might be asked to verify their age even after you have successfully set up the Ask to Buy feature. Then, if you are not getting the notifications to approve the procedures of your child, make sure that you are the approver. For some users, the notifications to approve purchases do not appear. If you are also facing the same issue, make sure you are the approver. The good thing is a family organizer has got the desired freedom to change the approver for Ask to Buy feature. If you need to change the approver on your iPhone or iPad, Open the settings app, then tap on family. Then choose your family member's name. Now ensure that you have the right to approve the purchases of your child. To do so, tap on parent or guardian. Then tap on set as parent or guardian. In iOS 15 or earlier, open the settings app, then tap on your name. Then tap on family sharing. Then select your family member's name. Then tap on role and then select parent or guardian. And if you need to choose another approver on your Mac in macOS 13 Ventura or later, head into the System Settings app on your Mac. Alternately, click on the Apple menu located at the upper left corner of the screen and choose System Settings in the drop-down menu. After that, click on Family. Then choose your family member's name. Then click on Parent or Guardian. Then click on Set as Parent or Guardian. Then be sure to click on Done to confirm the action. If you need to select another approver for Ask to Buy on your Mac in macOS Monterey or earlier, open the System Preferences app and then click on Family Sharing. Then click on Details next to the family member's name. Then click on Edit and then select Parent or Guardian. Next up, I would suggest you to disable Enable Ask to Buy feature. Many a time you can fix the Ask to Buy not working problem by just turning it off and on, so give it a try as well. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad, then tap on your name, then tap on Family Sharing. Alternatively, you can click on the Family under the Apple ID banner in the Settings menu. Then tap on your family member's name. Then tap on Ask to Buy. Now turn off the switch for Require Purchase Approval. Next, restart your device and after your device has rebooted, return to this setting and then turn on the toggle for Require Purchase Approval. If you need to enable Disable Ask to Buy on your Mac, open the System Settings app, then click on Family, then select your child's name, then click on Ask to Buy in the sidebar. After that, turn off Require Purchase Approval, then restart your Mac. Once your Mac has rebooted, go back to the same setting and then turn on Require Purchase Approval. Now check out if Ask to Buy has started to work normally. Next up, I would suggest you to sign out of Apple ID and sign back in. 
if you are still unable to use the Ask to Buy feature on your iDevice, sign out of Apple ID and then sign back in. As this hack has worked for me, I am very optimistic that it will click for you as well. On your iPhone or iPad, open the Settings app, then tap on Apple ID banner, then hit Sign out. After that, you will be prompted to keep a copy of important data like reminders, calendar, safari passwords and more. Make sure to keep a copy of the essential data before signing out of the Apple ID. On your Mac, open the System Settings app, then click on Apple ID banner and then hit Sign Out. And after that, sign in to your Apple ID both on your iPhone or iPad and Mac and then check out if the problem is gone. Next up, I would suggest you to update the software on your iDevice. The Ask to Buy not working problem could also be due to a rare software bug. That's why I would recommend you to update the software on your iPhone or iPad. Open the Settings app, then tap on General, then tap on Software Update, then download and install the latest iteration of iOS or iPadOS as usual. And on your Mac, open the System Settings app, then click on General, then click on Software Update, then download and install the latest iteration of macOS as usual. And finally, I would suggest you to reset all settings on your iPhone or iPad. Since Factory Reset has a long history of fixing even complex issues, I would recommend you to give it a shot as well. To do so, open the Settings app on your iPhone or iPad, then tap on General. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom and tap on Transfer a Reset iPhone or iPad. Then tap on Reset, then hit Reset All Settings and confirm the action. And that's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix Ask to Buy Not Working Problem. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the issue. Now that you have sorted out the issue, let me know the trick that has helped you fix the problem. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye -bye.